Well, welcome. Hey, I'm Dr. Stephen Masley, and you're on my new boat. I'm on a tour in Europe, exploring new recipes and looking at regional dishes. And right now, I'm, I'm, I'm in my first stop, the Sable d'Olonne in France. And oh my gosh, it's gorgeous here, just beautiful. And um, this is really doubly sweet for me. Not only is the boat being launched here, but this is where my wife, Nicole, her father was born, here in France. She's half French, so this is really double neat. And here we are, and I want to make something for you. I'll give you a tour of the boat another time. We'll have some fun on future videos um, as I help you explore your, um, Europe, the Mediterranean, and really, how can food taste fantastic, glorious, and be really healthy for you at the same time? But I'm going to start today with one of my favorite meals I have in this part of the world, and it's called a, a, a moule menier. And it's what well, we call it mussels menier. It's a French style for making mussels, and it's super easy. You're going to just find this really amazing. The trick is really fresh mussels. That's the only hard part of the whole dish, is you've got to get them fresh so they taste fantastic. Okay, so here's our going to be our ingredients. I'm going to saute some onion and a little bit of garlic with parsley. Those are the three principal things that go with the mussels. And I'm going to, um, the tradition is all butter, organic butter. Um, I'm going to do that like my smart fat butter. I'm going to do half olive oil and half butter um, along with some, um, a little bit of pepper. And instead of Italian herbs, I'm going to use herbs de Provence. They add a little bit of lavender to their Italian herbs make them French herbs, herbs of Provence, and they have a, just a touch of lavender in it. They just, it's a fabulous combination. So, um, I've got one onion prepared. One of my favorite ways to slice an onion is just to cut out the tips, slice them in half, pull off the skin. The quicker I am, the less I cry. If you've ever noticed crying cutting onions, I have too, everybody does. Um, if you get a whiff, good ventilation helps, but um, just being able to get them set up so you can slice them quickly um, is really nice. And here I'm going to use slivers because I think it's prettier instead of fully chopping them. So just a little bit of sliver to them. So that's going to go in and then I'm going to smash one garlic. My favorite way to smash a garlic is like that. Um, you know, it pops the skin off. See how nicely that comes off? them off that little thick root and then um, we're going to just mash it again. Now when you mash it, it's really medically important for your health because in garlic is alin, which can, when it gets with oxygen, it converts to allicin. So you need some juice for that to happen. If you just swallow garlic whole, it doesn't do much for your health. You've got to convert that chemical reaction in oxygen which does that with juice. So smash it, get some juice going, dice it up. That works perfect. And then parsley. I mean, the food here is fantastic. Here's the amazing thing. They have better quality than we've seen so far here in France than we've seen anywhere in the US. And it's cheaper. The cost of vegetables this time, seasonal vegetables, is lower because they eat a lot. And that's what we need to do in the US. In Canada, we need to eat more vegetables and bring that price down. So I'm gonna just cut half of it now. We just want to chop half of it so we can throw that in when we get this ready. And then the other half, I'm going to use that. And that's about it, just a nice coarse chop, and that's going to be great. So with that, let, I'll go ahead and put on my oven. I love my little mule bowl. That means mussels, in case you weren't aware, that's mussels for us. So we're going to do two tastes. This is a, a serving for four people. I already uh, posted the recipe, but I'll um, attach it so it comes with it as well. And then half butter, half olive oil. All right, super easy. We'll put in a half about a half teaspoon of those herbs of Provence, just like Italian herbs. And I'll give it a little stir. Okay, that looks great. Throw our, our chopped onions in. 
Remember the garlic goes in last. It, it cooks really quickly and you not only does it taste bitter if you cook the garlic too long, but it'll actually uh, lose its nutritional value. So we'll add the parsley and the garlic um, at the end. But I'm going to let this saute for about two to three minutes just till those onions are translucent and I'll be back in a second to show you the next step. See you in a moment. Hey, you're back. Um, muscles, the mussels here are incredible. I've got this whole serving for two and it's fantastic. I clean them, you know, I rinse them really well. So I put them in the sink and I stir them with my hands and rinse them. It's really important to get any sliminess off. It doesn't make them take, that, does, that isn't good. And then if there's any bit of beard, these are the cleanest ones I've ever seen, to be honest. Usually there's like these brown tufts sticking out the side and I just pinch that off and I throw that part away. Um, and sometimes you have to, and all of them sometimes happen. This is the first time ever I've had this whole container and there's none. So I've got it, my, my onions are ready. We're gonna just go ahead and put in our garlic and like half our parsley. And it's it, just with the onions there and the Italian and those um, herbs de Provence, it smells so nice. That's in. And now what I'm going to do is we call it deglaze it. I'm going to put in some white wine. If you really, you don't really get any alcohol for this when you cook it; it all evaporates. But if you really want to avoid wine or any alcohol, you can just use some vegetable broth instead. Um, all right, or fish stock. I'm going to do a little bit of ground black pepper, and then we're going to let this come to a gentle boil and as soon as it's boiling I'll be back and we'll put the mussels in okay so we're ready I'm gonna take a peek and they look oh wow they look awesome and I love the top to this pan see how cute that is when we're serving you can just throw your shell in here all right so to serve them up really pretty simple I'm gonna stir them one last time Put in the last of the parsley right there just before you came back so that it just got to steam for like 30 seconds. Now we'll just put some in a bowl. Oh, these are awesome. Mmm, smells wonderful. Now, think about it, how easy this is. If I can make this on a sailboat, you can make it at home. And these are delicious. I mean, and here's the French style of eating these. It's super cool. We just take a shell, scoop it out. Don't even need silverware. That is awesome. These are like the best mussels I've ever had. And you can make them too. So, uh, what, give it a try. Your only challenge is super fresh mussels. Wash them really well and make sure the clams close. Um, they should all close or just throw them out. Um, this has been really easy. Mussel menu here in the, here right now in Les Sons, they, uh, they <laughs> sorry about that, right here in the Sable here in France. And hey, I look forward to seeing you next time.